When trig equations start to look like this, students start to become quite uneasy and nervous um, because they're not, it's not obvious as to where this question is going to lead you, where it's going to go. It's really just through practice that it's going to start identifying for you what methods to, you, to use. This one first needs you to rearrange the equation. So we've got 3 sine x minus cos x equals 0. So if I add cosine to both sides, then I have that. Now divide both sides by cosine. Okay, so don't forget that cosine divided by cosine would be 1. Now sine over cos we know is tan. So I've got it now to 3 tan x equals 1, and then divide both sides by 3. So tan x equals 1 third, and this is the equation that I want to solve, between 0 and 360. So make sure that your calculator is in degrees this time. Um, first of all, nice sketch of tan. between 0 and 360, like that. Now, one third is going to intersect the curve there and there, so twice. So inverse tan both sides. So inverse tan of one third is 18.4 degrees one decimal place. So that's given me this solution, that's 18.4. And remember to get the next solution, I'm going to add the period of tan, so that's just 180 degrees. So add 180 to that. So x equals 180 plus 18.4. which is 198.4, don't know why I needed to look at my calculator to do that, to one decimal place. So we've got two solutions in the region that I'm looking for, 18.4 and 198.4, to one decimal place. Okay, so an equation that looked horrible to start off with, actually, when it comes down to it, is just one of the basic trig equations that we need to solve.